The opening round of the Victorian State Circuit Racing Championship was, much like the Curate's Egg, good in parts. Max Vidow ended the weekend with the points and leaves Sandown as the leader of the 2017 National Formula Ford Series and the Victorian State Championship. Vidow came through when it mattered to win the final race ahead of Liam McLennan and Jaden Jada. Hamish Rabatis waited until the very last lap to make his only mistake of the race, ending up trapped in the Dandenong Road gravel. Reigning Victorian champion Brandon Jones won the Kent Engine class from James Garley and Daniel Hollihan. Numbers were well down in Formula V, but the racing was still at its usual high standard. Matthew Holmes won all three races to take the early points lead from Nicholas Jones and Heath Collinson. Blaine Grills channeled Bobby Rahal in this first lap lose over the rise and into Dandenong Road. But Jordan Mazzaroli wasn't quite so lucky, ending his race against the tyre wall. Ben Rhodes also fell victim to the Dandenong Road siren song with his visit to the gravel, which brought about an early end to the race. Once again, the Hyundai XLs provided big fields and entertaining racing. Group 1 saw an early lead to Adam Bywater and a very lucky escape to Jalen Robotham, who had a nervous wait as half the packed field somehow managed not to hit him on lap 1. Ash Wright was second early, but coming under great pressure from Nathan Blight. Rich Dickey locked up going to Dandenon Road and was very lucky to avoid t bone in game done. Wright took the lead, leaving Bywater to try and fend off the hard-charging Blight. Ashley Kerr would gain two places going into Dandenong Road and promptly lost two places going out. Bywater was back in front on the last lap, but Blight was now second and in a close run to the flag, Blight came through to take the win with Wright in third. In the race for the second group, it was another member of the Blight Brigade, Neville, who took a comfortable win, but the fight for second was as fraught as the Group 1 race. Nick Higgins led early from Nick Scarcella and Blight, but once Blight had fought his way past, he was never really under any threat. Higgins led first Scarcella and then Ben Bagwana. Bruce Lethburg and Peter Robotham then displaced Bagwana, with Lethburg inheriting second after Higgins lost it going over the top of the rise on the last lap. Blight took the win from Lethburg as Bagwana just managed to get past Robotham for third in another thriller. With all the attention and hype about the XLs, the poor old HQ Holdens were a bit like the faithful old dog when the new puppy arrives for Christmas. Andrew McLeod won the weekend, but the feature race went to Perry Beckers, who found himself in the lead one lap before the race was red flagged. If you're going to replace a car that's as popular and iconic as the Daytona Coupe, then a Dodge Viper's probably not a bad choice. Jamie Augustine took out the sports car final, leading home a trio of R8 Audis who fought it out to the very end. Ryan Howell just edged out Matthew Stupas and Gary Higgin. Reese Howell brought his Lamborghini home in fifth, just ahead of Alex Capewell, who did a sterling job circulating quickly and keeping the 458 Ferrari away from the concrete in his first race. The MGs were a walkover for Philip Chester, whose 5 litre V8 powered machine was in a class of its own. Chester led every lap to take the win from the ZRs of Andrew Hale and Jason Holmes. The sports at Anfield was one of the smallest I can ever remember, and they ended up sharing the track with the historic touring cars. Stephen Page in his V8 supercar Commodore won all three races, despite the best efforts of Terry Hamilton in his 6 litre sports sedan version. Jonathan Lawson came home third in the final in the Subaru after Ken House failed to finish after he went off in his turbo rotary escort. Former sports sedan driver Tony Hubbard was in his element as he warmed up for the big Phillip Island Historic Classic in mid-March with a dominant weekend in his lovely and very fast Chev Camaro.